Today I'm going to open up this box of Ikoria, and I'm pretty excited to open it because I've actually never opened a box of Ikoria before, uh, despite this being one of my favorite sets, uh, because I skipped this set in paper entirely because of obvious world events in 2020. I played it a lot on Arena though, but the aesthetic for the set is like exactly my kind of thing. I love giant monsters and kaiju and that kind of thing. So, got a box of it now, I'm going to open it up, and I'm pretty excited for it. And you get this box topper in it, one of the Godzilla cards. Some of those are quite good, so, you know, maybe we'll get a big hit. Could be a Ghidorah, that would be pretty sweet. We'll save this for last, obviously, though. Gotta do it that way. With Ikoria, it's a, I don't know, a couple, or, a couple years old at this point, I guess, but uh, one thing is... Set booster boxes don't exist for this set. There are collector booster boxes, but uh, this was before set booster boxes became a thing, so you've only got draft and collector. And there's quite a few big hits in this set, uh, mainly in the land slot at this point. Uh, the, the original cycle of the triomes is in here, and those are quite desirable now. We got a showcase Iluna to start off with, that's kind of cool. Nice mythic there. Ominous Seas is a decent uncommon. I would like to put together a full set of this, of Ikoria, but uh, not sure if I'm going to get there. I'm not sure if I'm going to open more than this box, because, you know, it's only a couple years old, but it is actually already somewhat pricey for what it is. Nethroi, okay, Mythic Mythic. Seems good to me. Got a foil. Not sure what I'm doing with this thing. Let's just put that in the commons. Three red on commons there. You see these things coming back in New Capenna. This was the first time we had uh, counters that gave abilities. So we got a couple of mythics, but actually most of the value in the set is in the rare slot. Right there, Indotha Triome. That's definitely a big hit. So pretty good start, I must say. Put cool uncommons over here. And there are a couple of decent uncommons in the set too. I believe Bastion of Remembrance is the main one. It's like a Blood Artist type of effect on a uh, enchantment. I don't think there's any notable commons, so I'm just going to skip past the commons. Death's Oasis. Alright, got our first, uh, first bulk rare there. And I just noticed this foil that I skipped by. It's a rare foil, the Dirge Bet. That's kind of a bulk rare, but still neat to get a rare foil. Definitely would like to go back to Ikoria in the future. I mean, not for a couple of years, that would be too soon, but it's a plane that I would quite enjoy returning to. Oh yes, so you've got, uh, so got this foil porky parrot, the showcase one, but uh, this is where the companions are, very controversial mechanic, you know, it had to be Eradud, but all of the companions are good. Garuda's pretty sweet, saw quite a bit of play in standard, we'll put that here. But you got you got a few cycles of rares in the set, like you got the land cycle, which is awesome, you got the companion cycle, you have a cycle of ultimatums. There are some good ones in there, there are some bulk ones also, but overall it's a pretty decent cycle. Flourishing Fox was a big uh, big deck in standard, the cycling deck there. Dranith Magistrate, that's an awesome rare. That's going to go into hits here. I'll put it here. I'll try to have a separate pile for the lands. And then also another one of just, uh, you know, big hits and cool stuff.
Best unit remembrance right there. It's been good on common. Broadland Felidar, not so much. Sagoth Triome, awesome. So, yeah, definitely a good start to this uh, to this box here. I did collect. It. Oh, this is difficult to open. I just slide the cards out. I collected all of the Godzilla cards in foil. I'm a pretty big fan of Godzilla. So that was a uh, fun set of cards to put together. I even got the, the Secret Lair Godzilla Lands Colossification. Cool card, bulk rare there. Be interesting if they do return to Lycoria at some point, will they do something like the Godzilla thing again? This was the first set to introduce that as well. Because overall, it's a very impactful set for what it introduced to the game. Yodaro, pretty good card. Uh, introduced Companions, Triomes, the Godzilla style of alternate art cards. Void Beckoner, that's the uh, Space Godzilla, the one that was controversial. <laughs> Brunus Ultimatum, that's the good ultimatum. We'll put that in the cool stuff. There's a couple of good ultimatums actually, but I think that's the best one. Incredibly good in Commander. Destroy all non-land permanents your opponents control. Sure. For what, six mana? Seems good to me. Hunted Nightmare, eh, not so great. Wood Crasher is a pretty good card for the uh, Dinosaur decks. I play this in my Kishath deck. It's actually, you know, a good dinosaur that doesn't cost a million mana. It's like one of the, the mid-range dinosaurs, I guess. Because in that deck you have to play a ton of cards that cost, you know, like 7, 8, 9 mana. But 5 mana is pretty reasonable to actually cast if you don't hit it off of Gishath. Just slither with there. It's a cool card, but uh, I really did a whole lot. Cogla, awesome card. I play that in, I believe, every commander deck that I have that runs green. Got printed in, uh, we'll, we'll put it here anyway. Printed as a promo and I think a couple of things. So there's, you know, there's lots of Coglas out there. So it doesn't have a whole lot of value, but it has a little bit still. Sprite Dragon was a pretty big uncommon at one point. We'll put it here with the cool uncommons. Another Haunted Nightmare. Not really a rare I want to see in multiples. Gonna foil probably common there. Ever Quill Phoenix, eh. It's not terrible, but there are better Phoenixes. Obosh. Cool, another one of the companions. Uh, we'll put it here. When I do the recap after, it'll be interesting to check how many companions we got. So it's two so far, I believe. Glyrus is still the biggest one, even though it's banned in water. <laughs> so 
So if I triome, awesome. Three triomes here now. The alternate art foil triomes are <laughs> quite valuable at this point. I also, for this set actually, I also collected all of the the showcase art cards like this. I got all of those in non-foil just because I really like the style. I think it looks pretty awesome. I kind of prefer those ones in non-foil actually because of the, you know, the comic book kind of look to it. It fits pretty well with the non-foil ones. Sea Dasher Octopus is a pretty good card. It's playable. Decent counter spell there with cycling. Another Quartzwood Crasher. Okay, a couple of double rares. Blue Tree. <laughs> when that was banned right away. Uh, Kraken token. I wonder if that's one of the rare tokens. Banned right away in Commander, because it was too broken. Never even got a chance. Okay, Hero. Okay, another Companion. Only two Mythics. <laughs> I don't even remember what the big mythics are in this set. You got a couple of planeswalkers, but I don't think either of them are particularly valuable. There's a couple of rares here. Ponder's Enclave. Definitely a good card. I play that in multiple commander decks. We'll put it here. And a foil Genesis Ultimatum. I think that's actually a pretty good foil hit. Let's put that here too. Yeah, that card's seeing a lot of play in Pioneer right now, I think. Voracious Great Shark. Oh yeah, I just remembered the uh, Shark Typhoon is in this set. It's a pretty big rare also. Second loot tree. All right. Am I going to get more than two mythics in this box? Narset. Okay, there's one of the mythics. Uh, kind of a crappy one. It's a planeswalker, which is cool, but not really a whole lot of value to it. I don't think any... Uh, Vivian would be the best Planeswalker from the set, actually. She's pretty playable. I played her in one of my commander decks. Another Bastion. That's pretty sweet. And another Colossification. That's not pretty sweet. Again, multiples of some pretty bulk rares there. Colossification is the rare that comes in the bundles, so it's a million of that around too. Brokos, okay. Oil basic. Another mythic there. So we got three of the mythics from that cycle. Got this cycle of, I guess, nightmare beasts with mutate. That's a pretty decent mythic. That's cool. Okay, so we're getting some of the mythics now. Five. Only six packs left to go, though. Zerda. Cool. 
another companion. It'd be great if we could get another triome though. I saw Ketra there, unfortunately it's not a triome, it's one of the common crystals or whatever. Another great shark, so many duplicate rares in this box. Got something cool there. Not sure what it is. Club Warden. Oh, that's kind of a tease there. I thought it was a triome. So there's one of the showcase art rares. Not really a big one. It's neat. It's definitely cool art on it. Migration path is pretty good on common, actually. Put that there. Lava Brink Venture. Awesome. Fourth Triome. So there's one pack left. And we've got four out of five triomes. Can we complete the cycle with this bag? It'll be pretty sweet. Let's try to do a slow rule here. Rare. Offspring's Revenge. Not great. <laughs> and a foil vulpakeet. Still though, four out of five triomes is uh, quite nice. Five mythics. Pretty much average, I guess. Got this thing left though. So this is one of I don't remember if it's uh foil or non-foil that you get in this one. I wanna say it's foil. Anyway, this is one of the Godzilla cards. Uh yeah, this is the back. So obviously we want the Ghidorah. What else is good? The Moth. Luminous Great Moth. Uh, I don't know, let's just flip it over. <laughs> Zilla Primeval Champion. Uh, we got the Uncommon one. It's cool though. Godzilla's pretty sweet. Alright, so just like usual. I'm gonna check out all the cool stuff and come back to you in just a second. Okay, so here's what we got. Uh... Overall, not bad. It's not as good as I thought it was, but, you know, I did get some pretty decent stuff, so I can't really complain, right? So, five Mythics, pretty average, although pretty much all of these are kind of bulk Mythics. I think the, the most valuable one is Nethro at, like, $2, but, uh, hey, I mean, that's fine. Uh, the value in the set isn't really in Mythics anyway. Four Triumphs, though, that's pretty sweet. Um, I feel like on average, you'd probably be looking to get like three triumphs in a box, so four slightly above average. That's really what makes this, uh, what makes the value in this box is these four triomes. A couple of good rares though, Dranith Magistrate is pretty nice, you know, pretty, pretty big commander card there. Can just shut off your opponent's commander. Runus Ultimatum is pretty sweet too. Uh, what is this? Six of the, uh, companions. Uh, didn't really get any of the good ones. Like, I guess Obosh is maybe the best. Double Loot Tree is kind of funny because, you know, you can't even play it in Commander. But, uh, you know, maybe, maybe one day. Anyway, got six of those. Foil Genesis Ultimatum for the Foil Rare. There was a second Foil Rare, the Dirge Bat. This one's better. And then a couple of Bastions, you know, that's a good uncommon. So overall, a decent box. You know, it could have been better, but we did get four Triomes, so that's pretty sweet. Anyway, though, if you're still watching, thanks for watching. It'd be cool if you can like and subscribe and all that kind of stuff. I'd encourage everyone to come join the Discord server I have set up. You can find a link to that in the video description below. And I'd like to thank all the patrons who support me on Patreon. If that's something that interests you, you can find a link to that in the video description as well. Otherwise, though, thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you later.